For this lesson, we're going to concentrate on clip volumes and how they can be used to basically cull light or environment probes inside of your scene to encapsulate the light volume. Maybe you have a specific room in a, a house that you want to light up, or even a box, which is very, very generic. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the basic box entity that comes with the clip volume, and then we're also going to look at how we can load a custom CGF, and then we will attach a light and an environment probe to both of them. So to begin with, the clip volume is actually a volume, so we need to go into the area where it will be. And that is just so an area. And inside of here, we can see that we have a clip volume. And if I bring that in, we have to draw out just like the designer tool. And now we've created a box. With this, we can go ahead and get a light. So we need to go back to our entity. We can come into our lights, and then we can drag it into the scene. So our volume is blue right here, and if we want to change that, we can actually get rid of this. Right here in the properties, it says filled. We can go ahead and select that, and now we don't have any light. So with this light right here, what it's doing, is you can see, it's kind of restricted inside of this, but it's not connected at all. So if I were to go in and change the diffuse value, let's go to something that's really, really high. You would never use it in a production. We can put it to 100, and if I bring this out, you'll so see a massive difference. So now that we have both of these inside of the scene, say we want to call the light data to just inside of this box. And the way they do it is actually through an entity link. Down here in the bottom, we can add an entity link. And we can click in this box or this gray area, and then we will select the clip volume. And you'll immediately notice that the light can actually only exist inside of this. So what we need to do here is bring it down just a touch, because it's actually not penetrating the terrain. And now we've seen how the clip volume can interact with our box from anywhere, as long as it's within that radius. So we have a fall off value over here. So now what we want to do is maybe change the clip volume and make it a custom shape. The way to do this is actually on the right here under operators, we can load a CGF. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and go to objects, props, miscellaneous, and I'm going to choose a B CGF, and we will use that shape to call the data. Let's go ahead and make this up very, very big because we want to be able to see it we can already kind of see what it's doing. So you're not limited by any shape specifically in a primitive sense. You can just load whatever CGF you want to be able to basically call the data. So now that we've done that, what we can also do is look at how we can use environment probes. So let's go ahead and turn that light off. And we're gonna step back just a little bit and let's go to miscellaneous environment probe. And we're gonna drag this into our scene. Like before, I'm going to change the amount of the diffuse value because it needs to be extremely high. So if we go over here to 100, you'll notice that we're still not getting any light. We need to do an active. So now we can see that we have a negative value as well. This is where it can also be inverse. Maybe you want to have something that doesn't accept any light within your scene. So just like before, down in the entity links, we can go and we can add a link, and we can basically select the clip volume, and it's doing exactly the same thing except through the environment probe in your scene. This is just a basic overview of how you can use clip volumes and how you can create entity links between a basic probe as shown on the screen or even your light in general within your level.